I'm back. What's up? Did my face. You're welcome, fam. <laughs> no, I'm not nearly that uh, self-involved. But, well, I do have YouTube. Anyway, today we're going to be making something. Well, we're going to be making supper, dinner, that evening meal between lunch, a snack. Well, we have a lunch, a snack. A supper, a snack, and then breakfast. So that's that little one in between those two snacks. Supper, dinner, however we want to call it. We're going to be making a supper dish today. And I'm going to cringe as well. So hopefully he does see this, but doesn't see this. But if you've seen my other videos in my house before I moved, you'll know that Niall Horan has a song that just came out. <laughs> and it's amazing. If I can, I'm going to put a little 10 second clip <coughs> of his video right there. Not the first 10 seconds. This is a family show. But um, I'm going to also link his video in the description so you can go watch it. It's amazing. It's actually the theme, a theme of our dinner today. Uh, we're gonna make nice to meet you non-meat sausage spaghetti with mushrooms I'm cringing too but he deserves all the promo in the world because he's a good dude and it's an amazing song and he actually plays instruments he doesn't just press buttons on a machine he actually plays them in front of people he's amazing and plus he likes Eric Clapton, so. No, if you wake me up, what's up, son? I'm not nearly that lucky, but I thought I'd put it out there. <laughs> All of us want to be that girl in the front of that video, but I'm not that girl in front of that video. <laughs> I'm the one down the street at the bakery getting donuts while she's coming out of his house. <laughs> so, I'm the one getting the sausage roll down the street. Anywho, uh. We're going to start this video today before I talk anymore and make he and I cringe more if he ever sees this. I'm so sorry. Anyway, for this recipe, there's two things you can do. You can make everything from scratch, like I tend to do, or you can be lazy. You get to be lazy. You're going to get a can of... Uh, you're going to get a can or a jar of already made pasta sauce, if you want to. If not, get some diced tomatoes in a can. I roast them with, ol with olive oil, then I blend them, and that's how I make my sauce. With all the little seasonings and everything. So, that's the sauce part. But where's the sausage part? Tofurkey Italian Sausage. We're going to use about half a pack. I'm not making a big batch of spaghetti. I'm just making a little batch, which in itself is a conundrum because no one ever makes a correct amount, the correct amount of spaghetti. It's usually too little or too much, but I'm going to try. And I'm also going to put fresh mushrooms. I love fresh mushrooms. Sauteed with onions, any kind of way. Mushrooms are awesome. And then we're going to have regular spaghetti. If you have kids, or anything like that and they're just like I don't want long spaghetti I want mac and cheese use macaroni noodles it's amazing still you'll still get everything you need and these are just adult spaghetti I'm guessing I wouldn't know I'm only half an adult myself but Amber you're almost 30 it happens okay I'm four foot ten and I own more stuffed animals than my godchild does and she's eight so we shall see what happens but yeah, I'm gonna try to get my camera's angle, my camera angle's good. If you can see behind me all that mess, I am reorganizing my kitchen still. So no, no kitchen tour today, no bedroom tour today. My bad, I'm sorry. But uh, yeah, we're gonna make nice to meet ya, non-meat spaghetti. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you need to go check out Nala's song. Go download it. It's on everywhere you can get music. I have mine on uh, Google Play Music. I bought it and I watched the video 
a couple times a day. It's good music when I'm washing dishes. It's just great. Plus, it makes me feel fancy. Fancy and it makes me feel pretty because I'm just like, I'm never the girl to crawl out of a man's house in the early morning hours, but it's like, I wish I was. <laughs> Especially his. Um, I didn't say that. So, let's get into the video. If I know how to edit that out, that might happen. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get our sausage ready. Now, this is the plant-based tofurkey sausage. Hopefully you can see that, that's not backwards. We're gonna cut open our sausage, put it in little cubes. Now, a good thing to do also is pan fry the sausage before you put it in the sauce. It gives that a little bit of extra flavor, but you don't have to. Take this, cut it open. We're just gonna do two links, because like I said, I'm only making enough sauce for one person. You can make them as big as little as you want. You can do chunks, but I'm doing these little slices. To me, it's like these slices of sausage remind me more of like sausage my mom would put in stew. She wouldn't do chunks, she would just do slices like this. the sausage for a sauce this is about enough for one person to eat twice or two servings hopefully you can see that dun, 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 dun. now I'm gonna wash my mushrooms and I'm gonna slice those up as well you can clean the cutting board but you really don't have to because it's all gonna be cooked together so it doesn't really make a difference all right got my mushrooms nice and washed now I'm not gonna do all of these I'm just gonna do a few like I said, it's me. I love mushrooms, but I want to make sure I have some left for my other dishes. Amber, you're cutting that incorrectly. I know. I'm trying to figure out how to do it without slicing my fingers open. I need to get those little things you put your knuckles in so you can't cut your knuckles either. Cut these like this. See if it can do the ASMR sounds. Like when people cut soap and things. Oh my god, I love it. My favorite thing is when they do the abstract painting ones. Those are my ultimate favorite things to watch that make no sense to anyone else. But they're just amazing. Like, I watched somebody paint a picture with a funnel yesterday. He literally just filled the funnel with paint. And made a beautiful picture and I'm just like what the hell and he looked like he used enamel paint because it was nice and shiny anyway I wish I had gone to school for art but uh my dad had cancer so I stayed in town to take care of him so I missed out on that I mean I can always go back but I work so much right now and an art degree doesn't get you much nowadays. <laughs> so, maybe save, I maybe saved myself 150 grand in tuition and student loans, but I wish I could go back to it. But I will never leave mushrooms. I love these things. Goodness. And if you do see my vitamins or my dirty dishes in the shot, please excuse me. It is my day off. And the dishes will be done today before I go to bed. Okay? So, don't you dirty dish shame me. They will be done soon enough. And yes, that looks like a lot of mushrooms. But homegirl likes a lot of mushrooms. Put that in our bowl. Now, I if you don't have any fresh onions, this is the time I would like keep my uh, raw onions that I've frozen out. And I would defrost them. But I don't think I'm going to put the onions in this one. 
but onion, adding an onion would be the best time to do it right now with the cut it and just let it sit with this and it would help flavor all of these things before we put them in the pan to cook them down before we add our sauce to it. So we're going to put these down first, cook those, and then we're going to add our bits for our sauce. So I'll see you when I'm at the stove. Look at this. It looks like a mess, but it's going to be so good. All right, we're at the stove. You guys should be happy because I took out the good red copper pan for y'all. You're welcome. Now, I'm going to take this off camera and spray it. Now, these are non-stick, but I don't like risking it. So I spray it anyway, and we're going to put our stove on. Now, I'm going to go get my seasonings that I'm going to use to put in my sauce. But I've already opened my can of tomatoes. These are diced tomatoes. And I've got my things to put in my sauce on standby. Now, I'm going to do this can of tomatoes. Normally, I'd puree it and make it more of like a saucy texture. But I'm going to make it a little bit chunky this time. I'm going to add this can of tomatoes. And I'm going to add uh, about a can of water. So between that and this, it should make a pretty decent sauce. Now, since this needs to cook longer than those do. Um, let me see. No, let's cook these first and saute them up and then it'll it'll uh it'll season our sauce. So I'm gonna get that started. I'm gonna get some black pepper, eighth of a teaspoon, two sprinkles, however which way y'all wanna talk about that. And I'm gonna get salt and all my other things and I'll be right back. Now, if I hadn't told you, I have my heat on about 7, 8, about midway. I put black pepper. I've got about mm, eighth of a teaspoon or less of salt. I'm going to put in there. I've got some garlic salt, which is why I didn't put too much actual salt. Yes, I buy it in bulk. That's how I roll. And, sorry fam, I have a alarm on my phone, and onion powder. So I've got salt, pepper, garlic, salt, and onion powder. Just a few sprinkles of that as well. And then now, here's the easiest part. Instead of spreading out all my seasonings, I'm just putting Italian seasoning in. And... She seasoned y'all. Let me grab a spatula and give it a good stir. Our spoon. What have I got here? Let's do a spoon that has my name on it. Ooh, I fancy. It's written in permanent marker. <laughs> I wish I had my grand spoon. That's never gonna happen though. I ain't got Williams to know my kind of money. Excuse my belly in the shot. My food is incredibly good, so I'm incredibly fat. And I wish you could smell this. This smells absolutely divine. What? Now, these sausages, you can usually just microwave them for a minute or two. And they're fine to eat. So if you wanted to, you could just leave them out and just cook them down when you cook the sauce. But I like to stir fry them kind of a little bit. Not stir fry, pan fry them a little bit with the mushrooms. And you're like, Amber, all your seasoning is going to the bottom. That's okay. Let me dump in our tomatoes in a minute with some water. It's all going to come off off the bottom and season our sauce. Make sure it's flat in the pan so it can cook. Now, I'm going to get my um, I'm going to get my sauce done and then I'm going to boil my noodles because the second I get my noodles out, I'm going to put my sauce on top so they don't have chance to get sticky. Now, if you've got all those different tricks to not get your, your noodles sticky, you can do your noodles first. Or pasta first, excuse me, not noodles. And if you need to do the gluten-free, get you the gluten-free noodles. No shame in this house. We try to do gluten-free a lot, but if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. 
Well, if I'm using a $30 pan and a $1 spoon. But hey, that's how life be sometimes. Alright, I think these are cooked down a lot. Put that off to the side, lower our temperature slightly. Then we're going to put in tomatoes. This might be a bolognese, but I'm not entirely sure the definition between spaghetti and bolognese. But I am going to add a little bit of water to this to just get a little bit more sauce going. Get a little bit more saucy sauce. I am planning for this to be chunky, so I'm not going to like put these down in the blender or food processor like I normally would. But I am going to put the heat down. I'm going to go fill this can with water. I'm going to pull it in there. And we're going to have it cook for about eh, five minutes. All right, I added my can of water. I just filled up the can of diced tomatoes with water, dumped it in, and I got it on about five or six, about medium heat. We're going to let that cook down for a little while. I'm going to switch up the camera angle and talk to you guys for a little bit while this cooks. And then I'm going to get ready to start making, uh, start cooking the pasta that's going to go with it. Food. This is on a slight slimmer, uh, a slight simmer. I can say words. And we're gonna have that cook down for a little bit while I talk to you. Moment to camera. Uh, yes, this video is not with probably within two weeks of me doing my last video. Yes. Uh, Promoting Niles thing is fangirly cringeworthy, but He's a good dude He gives money to charity uses real instruments and I want the best for him and sometimes Even famous people need a little help and I don't really want to call him famous. I mean, yeah, he's a rock star with an earring No nah. But, um, I think he deserves a little bit of promo, even if it's from chunky little old me. And also, if you knew anything about Nile and you know about his acid reflux, he probably wouldn't be able to eat this. <laughs> Unless I did my acid-free uh, tomato sauce recipe, which honestly still would probably get him sick because <laughs> it's a little sweet. And, um... But yeah, he probably wouldn't be able to eat this, even though it's my version of trying to promote his new music and things like that, and yeah, my lovely cat tree and all my crap in the background of my kitchen, which is incredibly tiny. It's a real kitchen, unlike, unlike my kitchenette I used to have, but you know, he's a good dude. You should go watch the video, you should stream his music, nice to meet you, the name of the single that's out. And he's got this thing where he had asked people, he's like, can you guys, he's, he gave us lyrics and he said, see if you can get what's going to be going on. Now, I wanted to do a video of my version of it, but I'm a chicken <laughs> and I could not video myself doing that and singing in front of y'all. Cooking is one thing, singing in front of the camera is a whole nother animal. And that's something I can do. Can I sing? Depends on who you ask. The teacher that tried to fail me in her in her class because I wouldn't join choir after she heard me sing because she was my neighbor. Or the exes I have that only listen to metal and said that I sound awful. It depends on who you ask. But before his music came out, I'm just like, I had told my friends on Tumblr, yes, I'm on Tumblr. <laughs> Don't make fun of me. I love that place. I will stick up for it. It is a garbage site for garbage humans, and I'm a garbage human. And I told him, I was like, it's going to sound a little Michael Buble. 
and I could feel that I was like, it's gonna sound Michael Bublé or just a touch of Frank Sinatra. And when he hit that first, like, uh -huh, and I'm just like, I, I felt it. And I'm like, I know what he's gonna do. Not exactly, but it was awesome. And he, excuse me, I'm gonna turn this down a little bit. He still surprised me. I knew what he was gonna do. I knew the vein he was gonna go in because of how he works, because it's still a little bit of everything. But I was like, he's gonna have something that sounds like Buble, Big Band, Sinatra, in that vein somewhere. And even though I kinda knew it was gonna happen, I was surprised, elated, it's amazing. And yeah, not all his stuff is like, it's not all Irish drinking songs. But it is a good percentage of Irish drinking songs. I'm good at drinking and I'm good at singing songs. He's good at both of those things together. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I'd like to drink with him one day. That'd be cool. I also drink dark beer and like to eat bread, so we shall see. No, we won't because it's never going to happen. <laughs> but I'd like it to happen. And yeah. And me fawning over him in a video is making me cringe so hard and I feel bad for him because he's seeing me talk if he ever watches this which I hope to god he doesn't but I hope other people see it and go stream his music and things like that but yeah nice to meet you I wish I get to meet him one day I didn't get to meet him on his tour last time because he didn't come within two plane rides from my house <laughs> so I missed out on that Maybe this tour, now that I'm working better, better up here, things will happen. But there's a rumor I might be buying a house soon, so there's a rumor. And <laughs> my mom wants me to buy a house. I'm looking, but I'm, I'm looking. That's it for right now. And... I hope I don't find one I like. I probably will. But the last time I went to go look, the one I liked, somebody already bought, was bought, somebody bought it while I was looking in it. Like they had signed the paperwork while I was inside the house and they were showing it to me. So we shall see. But yeah, that was forever ago. And, well, let's get make this pasta because I'm probably going to have to cut out two-thirds of this clip. <laughs> Alright, our sauce is more or less done. So we're going to put that off to the side. I'm going to get my pasta in my big giant pot and I'm going to start boiling that. And then we just got to have the, the pasta boil down until it's tender enough. And then we're just going to combine the two and meal prep it for the rest of the week. Which, the rest of the week is two days for me. <laughs> so, we're going to do that. But yeah, it looks great. It's got good color. It's got enough meat, not meat, full meat, full meat sausages, whatever. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to put this off to the side without spilling it like a boss. I'm gonna turn off the heat. I'm gonna get a pot, boil some water, boil my pasta. I'll be right back to you. I did it again. All right, got my big pot of water, got my spaghetti going to put it on high and you have to make sure to salt your water I forgot my salt on the other side of the room don't mind my big butt all right salt water generously put it on high let this come to a hard boil hard boil is big bubbles really fast took me forever to figure out what a hard boil was since this might be still hot from when I had the saucepan on it it might already be, it might not take as long for it to get hot, so it might just come to a boil very quickly. I'm gonna wait till that boils, and I'll see you in a few. Doo -doo -doo -doo. 
like to fan it out and just play with the pasta because I'm a giant dork. <laughs> they like to like twist it. I'm gonna break it in half when I put it in a pot. But I was being silly with the pasta and I saw myself on camera. I'm like, they need to know. They just, they need to know how I live. And I'm just like twisting it, twisting it that way, fanning it out. I'm doing the thing where I make it into fanning it out. Stuff like that. Hashtag healthy shit. We don't edit out the bloopers. They're already in there for you. <laughs> we don't edit out the bloopers. If I screw up, you see it. Like, I talked to myself about 30 seconds ago and I'm like, oh, he's not gonna, and I'm just like, oh, the camera was still rolling. Don't worry about it. <laughs> My face gets too fat when I smile. I'll just do like this. Like an 18th century like debutante, just to, like covering their face with the pasta. But I'm fat, so it fits. So I'm just like, hey, what's up? Well, I do declare. All right, enough of me playing with the pasta. This is almost boiling. I'm gonna stir it, and then we'll pop this in there. Okay, the water still has not boiled yet, and I feel like being silly, so I'm gonna try to play like the first 30 seconds of his song. Don't copyright me. I'm trying to not get copyrighted. I just want to do like the first like verse. That's it. That's it. That's all I want. Let's see what happens. Oh, I forgot this little girl has to put her shoes on in the video. How does she put on clear shoes that fast? Those things stick to your feet. I'm sorry. Muscle shirt. Really now? She's not very good at this, she's not good at Let's see if the volume is up on this thing. I like the way you talk. I like the things you wear. I want your number tattooed on my arm and ink, I swear. This when the morning comes. I hope you won't be there. Okay. Every time I turn around, you disappear. And we're gonna stop before I get copyrighted. <laughs> but yeah, I was being silly. Listen to this song. Just block out this part of the video, your face, and just listen to the song. Because I was dancing like an idiot. It makes you dance, and it's fancy. I like it. Mm-hmm. And we're gonna stop now. Because the water's getting ready to boil. So we're gonna take our pasta. Ugh. Boom. Yes, a piece, a piece just hit me in the face. Don't worry about it. <laughs> a piece of uh, noodle <laughs> pasta just hit me in the face. We're gonna let that cook five, ten minutes, whatever the box says. Plus another two minutes, cause I'm a garbage human that likes pasta that's overdone. You know that if you've seen my other videos where I'm making pasta. I like it entirely too soft. I don't like it that firm to the tooth. I'm not an al dente girl. I'm a sloppy girl. I like it to where it's so soft. The noodle almost melts in your mouth. Noodle, pasta, sorry. There are two different classifications. The pasta nearly melts in your mouth. But yeah, I'm gonna have these cooked down and boiled and cooked. Our sauce is already done. When it's all done and together, I will put it together in this pot and we're gonna try it together. And yes, I made too much sauce and too much pasta because that's what I did by accident because I was trying to make enough servings for one person. But I think I made enough for a freaking army. So <laughs> we shall see. Hopefully I have room in the ice box or I'm gonna be eating on it twice just today. <laughs> all right, testing a little bit of pasta to see if it's cooked the way I like. Make it cool off. Make sure it's cooled off before I try it. It's still a little firm. So I'm gonna let it another minute. Drain the pasta. Add in the sauce. Still good though. Did not salt the water enough. <laughs> I might do that. I might put a little bit more salt in there and help salt the water a little bit more. Alright, I let it cook for another minute, 30 seconds, 
Um, I'm actually going to let the pot come down in temperature before I toss the water out. That's just less likely to burn me. Keeps makes the noodles slightly a bit softer because they still suck in some moisture even though they finished boiling. And I'm just letting the temperature go down a little bit before I chuck the water out. So I'm kind of like letting them rest and kind of, kind of letting this, them cool off before I toss the sauce in. Because it's like you don't want to risk the noodles burning on the bottom of the pan before you can get the sauce in after you drain them. So I'm just going to let the pot and the water and the noodles, the pasta, did that again. The pasta come down in temperature before I put the sauce in. Not everybody does that. I don't think anybody else does that. If they do, that's cool. I don't think I invented that at all. <laughs> and I don't think that's something that I'm supposed to do, but I do anyway. We shall see. But I will see you in a few. Alright, I've drained all the water out of it. Still got a little bit of heat coming off of it. We're going to add in our sauce. Boom. Stir that together. Now if you want, you can leave it sit. Water will absorb some of the sauce a little bit. You can not leave it like a fourth of an inch of water at the bottom of the pan like I did. Pot, excuse me. But I think I'm going to keep this on the hot burner for a little while. Let it cool down. And then it's going to be done. Let me see if I can give you a bird's eye view without screwing up too much. Yay! It's gonna look much better when it's plated and on Instagram at the front of this video. So, um, if you want to, stick around for the taste test in about 30 seconds. <laughs> if not, I'll guys will see you. I'll see you next time. But if you just wanted to see me cook food and talk to the camera and not taste it, then. I think you've come to the end of the video for you. But if you want to sit and watch me try this, which I already know is amazing pasta, uh, you can wait till the end. Up to you. All right, we've come down to it. The taste test. We're going to get my big spoon. I got a little bitty bowl. A little bitty bowl. A little bowl. All right, put that in the little bitty bowl like so. Make sure we get some of that good juiciness. Like that. And we've made our spaghetti! Yay! Look how pretty she is. Now if you want to get fancy with it, this is when you sprinkle on some nooch, some paprika, and some uh, parsley leaves. But like I said earlier in the video, I'm a garbage human and your girl's hungry. Let's try. It's still hot. These sausages tend to come a little bit spicy, so it's going to have good flavor regardless. Oh, let me see what I got a mushroom. Just like I thought, it's absolutely amazing. Took me hardly no time. I took more on this video than I did cook. That just shows you how much time and effort I put into this. Hardly any, and it's delicious. And this could feed, probably feed four people. I was trying to just cook for one, I cooked for four by accident. I cook like a grandma and that just happens sometimes. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hopefully I will see you within the next two weeks. All my social media is, social media is at Sweet G Amber. What's up? Drop me a line, tell me what you want to say, tell me what you want me to make. Check out my Instagram, it's got pictures of all my food I make. Um, oh, and don't forget to 
get your copy of Nice to Meet You, Nal Horn. I'd say he's back, but he never left. Don't play him like that. He never left. Even though he won't agree, he never left. And uh, I will see you guys next time. I'm going to go eat this because I'm starving. Bye now.